Okay. Welcome into your Total Resilience Yoga. My name is Leland Holgate. I am the executive director here at Trauma Recovery Yoga, and I'm a combat veteran, and I've used this to help bring myself back down to that normal or nominal level, whatever normal might be. So I've also broken my body several times and have used yoga to put myself back together. That being said, this is a lot less about the yoga and it's more about the self-regulation techniques that you're gonna hear me calling out throughout. So you'll notice some other differences as well. One of the biggest differences from conventional or regular yoga to this method is choice. Express choice throughout your practice. Do as much or as little as you want. If I'm going too fast, you can slow it down for yourself. If I'm too slow, speed it up for yourself as well. If you also sit down or lay down on your mat and breathe, you are still practicing this method. So please again, rock out that choice the entire time that you practice here. So you'll notice as well, I don't play any music. I'm not gonna be walking around the room. I won't be burning any incense, the light won't be dimmed, and I won't have anybody standing on their head or doing any of those crazy Instagram yoga posts that you may have seen. So as we move forward as well, I really, really invite you to come from that place of curiosity. We all judge ourselves far too often. So during this practice, just kind of take stock of where you are right now and be curious as to how you feel or where you are in this moment. All right, so we're gonna get started with our practice. And keep in mind too, as we move through, you may feel heated up, you are definitely going to feel stretched out, and you may feel things scratching at the surface. If you're super lucky, it comes out in the form of tears. So allow yourself to experience that for you. All right, so we're gonna start in our seated position, whatever that looks like for you. And it can be cross-legged, can be straight legs, bent knees, whatever's comfortable for you. So find your seat on the mat, let your hands rest on your knees, now just let your chin drop to your chest. And for the moment, just pick out four different shapes, or four different colors, maybe four different patterns. Could be the color of your clothing, or maybe the shapes on your mat. Maybe you notice the color of your skin, or the patterns on the floor. Anything to bring yourself further into this moment now. Now notice your sitting bones connected to the mat, your feet also supported by the earth. Notice any points that your body is contacting the ground. This is called grounding, very healthy for the body and helps bring you further into this moment. And as you're looking down, this sends the signal to your brain, all is well, I am safe. I am right where I should be. And start to notice in the body where you may be holding, where you may be tense, where the breath may be restricted. And no need to change any of these things. Just come from that curious standpoint. Just noticing. Well, start to pull your belly button in towards your spine and really engage the lower intrinsic muscles by restricting the flow of urine. Pull everything in and up. Keep everything engaged and notice that that center of your body starts to heat up. That's your internal core temperature, your internal furnace firing up. This helps pull all that mind chatter down away from the brain where it can be burned up and used for fuel. Keep everything engaged, pull everything in and up Notice that power building and realize that power comes from you. Slowly start to release and now filling up with our three part breath from the bottom all the way to the top. As you inhale, big belly into your chest, into the back of your eyes, exhale through your chest, press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, big belly into your chest, washing around behind the eyes. Exhale through your chest, press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, big belly, into your chest, washing around, cleansing. Exhale through your chest, press your belly button to your spine. And now come back to your normal breath and notice the body, the forehead and jaw released, shoulders away from your ears, your hands just gently lying on your knees with a slight separation in your fingers. 
On your next inhale, take your right ear to your right shoulder, head rolls back, exhale left to your left shoulder, chin to your chest. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder, continue to roll around and find that pace that works for you. Remember, this is your yoga, your mat, your rules. That popping and cracking is just nitrogen leaving the joints, allowing that old stagnant energy to be cleared out. Roll around one more time. Let your chin fall to your chest. Give yourself a moment of pause here and let any dizziness subside. That's completely normal. On your next inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Head rolls back. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder. Chin to your chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Continue to roll around. Link your breath to your motion. And find that pace that works for you. Let that old stagnant energy clear its way out, making way for the new. Roll around one more time. Let your chin fall to your chest. And give yourself another moment of pause here. Now you can start to blink your eyes open. You can lift your gaze. Now bring your right hand out toward the right. You can keep your shoulder blade plugged into the socket. Start to wiggle your fingers, get the blood flowing through the arm. As you look up toward the fingertips, open up your eyeballs wide. More light equals more happy hormones. You can also supercharge it by putting this big goofy smile on your face that I have. Now take your left hand down toward the mat, start to walk it away from you. As you inhale, reach up, exhale, up and over. Inhale, reach, exhale, stretch. Inhale, reach, exhale, stretch. As you inhale, back up to the center, lift both arms, wiggle the fingers, get the blood flowing. Now let your right hand drop down and let's keep the left arm going. And again, as you look up to the fingertips, keep them moving, keep the eyeballs nice and wide and you can keep that same goofy smile on your face. Now look down to your right hand, let that right hand walk away from you. As you inhale, reach up, exhale, up and over. Inhale, reach, exhale, stretch. Inhale, reach, exhale, stretch. As you inhale, back up to the center, wave the fingers once again, get the blood flowing. We're looking up, eyeballs are wide, let the light in. And now let your hands float down to your mat. And once your hands reach your mat, bring your left hand over to your right knee. Your right hand directly behind your hip so you can sit up tall. As you inhale, tall. Exhale, twist at the base of the rib cage. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Look forward, slowly unwind yourself and so you don't walk in circles. Now let's do the other side. Right hand on the left knee, left hand behind your hips. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist at the base of the rib cage. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. And look forward, slowly unwind. And once you come back to the center, reach your arms up overhead. Interlock your fingers, except for your pointer fingers here. Create that little steeple. As you inhale, reach up. As you exhale, come up and over to your right, just about one o'clock. As you inhale, reach with your top hand. Exhale, pull with the bottom. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, back up to the center, reach up, stretch up. Exhale, come up and over to your left. As you inhale, reach with the top hand. Exhale, pull with the bottom. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull. Inhale, back up to the center, separate your hands. Let your hands float down to your knees or to your mat. And let your chin fall to your chest once again. And scan through the body, forehead and jaw release. Shoulders away from your ears. Sitting bones on the mat and your hands just gently lying on the mat. Start to lift your gaze, blink your eyes open once again. Now you can either pull your heels in or just move your legs over to the side so we can move onto all fours. Your hands underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips. If your knees are anything like grandpa's here, you can sit yourself back as well. Just take some pressure off of the knees. Completely up to you where you are here. As you're here in the center, I want you to inhale. Take in all that clean, all that positive water. As you exhale, crunch your right shoulder to your right hip. 
squeezing all those toxins out of the organs. Inhale back to the center, taking that clean and positive. Exhale, crunch to the left, squeezing the toxins out of this side. Inhale back to the center, taking that clean water. As you exhale, ring out the organs on the right. Inhale back to the center, taking that clean water. Exhale, ring it out to the left. And one more time as you inhale, take in that clean and positive. As you exhale, squeeze out all that tension and negativity on the right. Inhale back to the center, clean and positive. As you exhale, squeeze out the tension and negativity on the left. And now as you come back to the center, find your knees underneath your hips, your hands under your shoulders. Take your left leg to the back of your mat. Your right hand comes forward. So you can stay just like this if you'd like, or you can lift one or both up into the air. Press your belly button in towards your spine. As you inhale, reach both directions. Exhale, press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press. And slowly lower your hand and your knee back down. And again, we don't want you walking in circles. Let's do that other side. Right leg back, left arm forward. You decide where you want to go with it, whether you want none, one, or both up in the air. Inhale, reach both directions. Exhale, press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press. Inhale, reach. Exhale, press. And lower your hand and your knee back down. Now tuck your toes and press your way back to your first downward dog. Hands about shoulder width apart, feet about hip width apart, and you can bend at your knees here to take your hamstrings out of the game. Just let your head relax. And while we're here, we like to practice the two most powerful words in the universe. I am. So rock those out for you today, whatever that is. I am amazing. I am productive. I am healing. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch, inhale to heart center, look down to your fingertips. Once again, send the signal to your brain, all is well, I am safe, I am right where I should be. And release. All right, now we're gonna move through some sun salutations. So these sun salutations are meant to burn up all that excess energy that we carry. And remember to express your choice as we're moving through. Practice as fast or as slow as you want. And if you sit or lay down and breathe, you're still practicing this method. All right, so we're gonna to step to the front of the mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock out your I am's here once again. I am powerful. I am prosperous. I am healing. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead, hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center, breathe out, re release. And inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And rock out your I am's here once again. I am confident. I am courageous. I am positive. As you inhale, heels up, look forward. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center. Breathe out, release. And now as you sit back and down on your next inhale into what looks like an imaginary chair. You can look past your knees just to see if you can see your toes. Maybe you wiggle your toes. You can press your belly button in toward your spine and your arms come up overhead. As you look up, this helps clear that fog off of the mind, bringing a little clarity to the situation. As you breathe out, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock out your I am's here once again. I am authentic. I am powerful. I am happy. As you inhale, your right leg up to the sky. 
Exhale, swing your right foot forward, drop your back heel down, and use your inhale to come up to warrior two. Or as we like to call it, the yogurt pose, because you see it in all those damn Dannon and yogurt commercials. <laughs> You're here for just a moment. You can keep the leg kind of straight if you'd like, or you can bend into it for an extra little stretch. Now your front palm spins up to the ceiling. As you exhale, come back to your reverse warrior. You can open your shoulder to the right and reach. Now come back to your warrior two. Straighten up your front leg, reach for the front of the room. When you can reach no further, you can hinge your hand down to your shin or to your ankle as you reach up for the sky with your left hand. We're here for just a moment. Now you can start to bend in toward your front thigh. Either your right hand stays on the mat or you bring your right elbow up to your right thigh. Now just for a moment, take your right hand down to the mat. We're gonna switch it off. Left hand comes down. Right hand reaches up to stretch across the body. Now lower your right hand down. Right leg moves back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock out your I am's here once again. I am healthy. I am happy. I am healing. Inhale, heels up, look forward. Walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead. Hands come to touch. Breathe in, heart center. And breathe out, release. And again, sit yourself back and down into everybody's favorite pose, chair pose, arms up overhead. Maybe you let your shoulders drop away from your ears to release some of that tension. As you exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And rock out your I am's here once again. I am authentic. I am amazing. I am strong. As you inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, swing your left foot forward. Drop your back heel down. Inhale up to warrior two. And again, you can keep your legs somewhat straight or you can bend in, completely up to you. This is your yoga, your rules. Spin your front palm up to the ceiling. As you exhale, come back to reverse warrior. You can open your shoulder to the left and reach. Now as you inhale, come back to warrior two. Straighten out your front leg, reach for the front of the room, and then hinge your hand down to your shin or to your ankle as you reach with the right hand. And now start to bend in toward your front thigh, either the left hand on the mat or left elbow onto the left thigh. And now just for a moment, take your left hand down, switch it off, bring your right hand down, and reach with the left hand to stretch across the body. And the left hand comes down, left leg moves back, lower down, half push up, inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock out your I am's here once again. I am happy, I am committed, I am courageous. As you inhale, your right leg comes up to the sky. Exhale, swing your right foot forward, drop your back knee down. And you can stay like this, or you can bring both knees back. Reach your arms up overhead. And while we're here, I'm gonna hand you a balloon. Maybe it's your favorite color. I want you to see the size of that balloon. Feel the texture of it in between your hands. Now I'm gonna give you a marker, and I want you to write down everything that you want to let go of in your life. All the things that no longer serve you. Maybe it's a feeling, an emotion, you don't have any words for it, so you can associate a number or a color and write it all over that balloon. As you inhale, feel it lifting. As you exhale, separate your arms and watch as it sails away. Smaller and smaller, taken to be recycled into something new. As you inhale, reach up. You can exhale, place your hands. We're gonna come back to plank. Lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock out your I am's here once again. I am letting go. I am amazing. I am happy. 
As you inhale, left leg comes up to the sky. Exhale, swing your left foot forward, drop your back knee down. And you can again, choose this low position where you can bring both knees back, reach your arms up overhead. And this time I'm gonna give you a sky lantern. One of those amazing lanterns that fly off in the night with a candle. It's got four empty walls. I want you to take that marker and write down everything that you want in your life. All the things you want to feel, all the places you want to go, all the experiences you want to have in your life. Maybe something for your loved ones. As you inhale, feel it lifting. As you exhale, separate your arms and watch as it sails away. Smaller and smaller, taken to be granted as a wish for you and those you love. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, plant your hands, come back to your plank, lower down, half push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rock out your I am's here once again. I am a warrior. I am happy. I am healthy. As you inhale, heels up, look forward, walk your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, arms come up overhead, hands come to touch. Inhale, heart center, look down to your fingertips. Send that signal to your brain once again, all is well. I am safe. I am right where I should be. And release. Right. So now we're going to take our hands, place them onto your hips, take a little hop. You notice that your feet land directly underneath your hips. So one of my favorite exercises, lift your toes up into the sky, separate your toes. Now place your pinky toes down, place your big toes down. And now pro level, pinky toes, big toes, middle toe. I'm still trying to get that, I can't get that. So press all four, all of your toes down, press all four corners of your feet into the mat and start to engage your calves, engage your thighs, press your belly button in toward your spine and your hands come down toward the mat. Your fingers being pulled by an invisible force. Shoulder blades come together to shine your heart space forward. And as you breathe, feel the crown of your head as if you're growing an inch with every breath. Keep everything engaged here. All the muscles, feel that power of being that mountain, that immovable force. I'm gonna count down from five, and we're gonna let everything hang. Five, four, three, two, one. Just let everything hang. And scan through the body once again. Notice the forehead and jaw released. Shoulders fallen way away from the ears. And your feet supported by your mat. Start to lift your gaze as you inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend at your knees, let your chest fall to your thighs, and your head falls to the ground. You can wrap your peace fingers around your big toes, or maybe you place your hands under your feet, or you can just hang out with your arms behind your thighs. The important part is, is having the heart above the head. When the heart's above the head, it doesn't have to work near as hard to pump the blood to all those important areas of the body. You're also feeling that blood start to pool. So here in just a moment, you'll find out why we call this the Xanax of yoga. Stay in your fold, release your hands up to your hips, pull your belly button in towards your spine and very, very slowly with your head coming up last, tick yourself Ah, that's magical. So let's do that again. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, bend at your knees, chest to your thighs. You decide whether you want hands under your feet or whether you just want to hang out with your arms behind your thighs. And while we're here, as well as the heart getting the break that it deserves, we're also toning that vagus nerve system that's connected to your heart, your lungs, and your gut. This vagus nerve system helps us enact that relaxed side of the body. Release your hands up to your hips, pull your belly button in toward your spine, and very slowly, like it's a game to come up last, tick yourself up. Head comes up last. And now we better move on or else I'll have us upside down all day long. So step to the front of your mat, inhale, arms overhead. 
Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant your hands, step back, lower your knees down, and make your way onto your seat. So once you find your seat, bring your feet, the bottoms of your feet together. And it's up to you how close or how far your heels are. The closer it is to your hips, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel. So grandpa's gonna take them away from the hips a little bit, relieve that stretch just a little, and bring your fingers or your thumbs across the pads of your feet. Sit up nice and tall, shoulder blades together so you can protect your spine. And now pull your feet open, just like it looks like a book. And imagine yourself as a hinge here. Start to hinge yourself forward. Your heart comes over that book. And this is the book of your life. The beautiful part about that is you are the author. You hold the pen. You control that keyboard. You get to write that next chapter of your life. So while you're here, see those things for yourself, whatever you want to experience in this next chapter of your life. As if you're writing it from your heart with your heart pouring over that book. Continue to see all those things, feel those happy emotions for you obtaining everything that you want in this next chapter of your life. Now we're going to surrender to that story, knowing that it's going to happen. You just let your hands fall forward, let your chin fall to your chest, and let everything go passive here for just a moment. Now start to walk your hands in towards your knees. And once you do, you can bring your hands to the outside of your knees, give them a little bit of help. And once we reach that point, find your sitting bones on the mat and your feet connected to the mat to create that upside down V. And now your hands come behind your hamstrings, elbows nice and wide so you can sit up nice and tall. Start to increase the distance between your knees and your chest. You'll start to feel your core engage and you can lift your shins parallel to the mat here for your boat. And while we're here, you feel that shake and that's exactly what we're looking for. We're moving that fear, that excess energy out of the body. We don't need it anymore. It can go. Just like a cheetah after it hunts, it shakes all that energy free. So that's what we're doing with the body right now. Right ankle over the left, heels come in, plant your hands, inhale, lift up to reset. Exhale, lower back down, come right back to your boat. Whatever that looks like for you, maybe you got an inner tube like me, maybe you got that speed boat by straightening out your legs, maybe you got that sailboat by letting your hands come out as well. Wherever you are, just look for that shake. Fear is false evidence appearing real. It's a mental construct that can only affect us if we allow it to stay. Left ankle over your right, heels come in, plant your hands, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower back down, and one more again, let's come back to that boat. Just one more little shake, let go of that last little bit of fear for yourself. Fear is also face everything and rise. Realize that you are that warrior, you are here amidst everything that has happened. Right ankle over your left, heels come in, plant your hands, inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower back down. Now pull your heels in once again, or just move your legs over to the side so you can roll your way onto all fours. Once we make our way into all fours, we're gonna move up into our plank. So you can be the full plank. You can also let your knees come down or you can have your ankles up. It's completely up to you. Let's press the ground away here. And feel that power like you are holding up the earth. Now let your heels drop to the right. Your left arm comes up for that side plank. You can also let your right knee come down for a little support. Now lower your left hand back down. Come back to your plank. Lower your heels to the left. Reach with your right arm. You can let your left knee come down for that extra support. And now lower your right hand back down. Come back to your plank and just for a little bit longer, lower down to your forearms. Interlock your fingers here. Just give yourself that moment, just another moment. We're gonna count down from five and slowly lower down. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower your knees down. Let your elbows go nice and wide. Now pick your favorite ear. And while we're here, just start to notice all the points that the body comes in contact with the ground. Maybe you notice how stretched the body feels. 
Slowly and carefully lift your chin to the mat, switch it off, bring it over to the other ear. And now maybe you notice the story that the heart is telling. Maybe you notice that thermal imprint you're leaving on the ground. And slowly start to bring your chin back to the mat. Your hands come underneath your shoulders. You can press through the tops of your feet, and as you inhale, come up to a baby cobra. Exhale, lower back down. And now work your way back up to your all fours. Take your knees to the edges of your mat. Your toes come together. Let your hips sit back. And let your forehead come to the mat for your child's pose. Arms reach forward. And this pose is very grounding. Brings us back to the moment. Pose of security. And we have this beautiful pressure point in our forehead. If you roll your forehead left and right, it'll help slow the heart rate ever so slightly. Now find some stillness. And work your way back up by pressing your hands to your knees. Bring your knees together. Now just let your hands rest on your thighs here. You can sit up nice and tall and close your eyes, and you can even let your chin fall into your chest to again send that signal to your brain all is well. I am safe. I am right where I should be. And this is hero's pose. For me, it's a great reminder that you can't always be a hero, but we can always be a champion just by showing up for us. Start to blink your eyes open. You can lift your gaze. And once you come back up, let your hips sit to one side. And your heels swing around. We're going to make our way all the way down onto our mat. So once you reach your back, we're going to go into one of my favorites. This one's called Waterfall. And it's great for insomnia, anxiety, and depression. Just bring your legs up into the sky. Let your toes fall towards your knees. You can bend at your knees slightly. You can also have your hands behind your hamstrings here for a little support. And you start to feel that tingle through the legs. That's what we're looking for. That's the blood coming back to the visceral part of the body, that important part where all the organs are contained. We need it there for all that digestion and lung function, brain capacity, all those good things that we need. You can also help it along as you inhale, press your toes to the sky. Exhale, pull your toes to your knees. Inhale, press, and find that pace that works for you. This also helps release some of that lactic acid from the legs, which is what causes muscle soreness. So we're here for just a moment, and realize you can also do this up against the wall for a little extra support as well. Five to 10 minutes of this before bed, and I sleep like a baby. Let your toes fall back towards your knees. And one last thing, so you're going to straighten your legs now. Bring your hands together to match that angle with your legs. Start to take your straight legs to about a 45 degree angle, match it with your arms to form that sort of a jackknife. And there we go, we found that shake once again. That's what we're looking for. Allow yourself to be there for just a minute. We're going to count down from five, and then we'll slowly lower down. Five, four, three. Two, one. Now let your feet just separate about hip distance apart. Your toes can fall open. The backs of your hands come onto the floor with your palms face up. You can let your eyes soften or close here. And while we're here, scan through the body. And notice your forehead and jaw release. Your shoulders and spine melt into the mat. Your hips and legs fall through the floor. With every breath, you notice the tension leave your body. We're here for just a moment. As you start to run through everything that you're thankful for in your life, Start to think of everything that brings you that happiness. It could be the simple things. 
Maybe your family, your friends, could be the air that you breathe. And as you continue to run this gratitude slideshow behind your eyes, you're going to hear me leave my mat to hand out some oils. Today's oils are patchouli, lavender, lang lang, and bergamot. For anybody that wants to skip the oils and the gentle touch, just place your hands across your belly and I'll know to pass you by. So continue to think of everything in your life that you're thankful for. Maybe the clothing that you wear. Could be the home that you have. Maybe your pets. Continue to run through everything that makes you happy, everything that puts a smile on your heart. Continue to think of all those things that make you happy, all those things that make you smile, that make life worthwhile. Now slowly, start to bring yourself back by wiggling your fingers. You can wiggle your toes. When you're ready, roll yourself over to your favorite side. Your bottom arm comes up to cradle your head. Your knees come into your chest. Your top hand just rests on the mat. This is a very soothing and peaceful pose for the body. We lived here for almost 10 months before entering this world, so the body remembers. This pose is also a great reminder that we can give ourselves everything that we need because we already possess it inside of ourselves. You can keep your eyes closed. Press your top hand into the mat. Make your way back up to your seated position. You can either let your hands rest on your knees or your palms press to your heart space. And let your chin fall to your chest here. This is a bow in honor of respect for you for making you important. The light in me recognizes and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.